five technologies that will change the future of the human race. As a futurist, I look at future technology trends and business trends. I'm the author of the book Tech Trends in Practice, in which I look at the 25 biggest technology trends and business trends in practice, in which I look at how businesses are changing in the future. For more on this, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, I want to look at the technologies that are really impacting us as humans. The first one is artificial intelligence, or AI for short. And this refers to the ability of machines to learn and act intelligently, meaning they can make decisions, carry out tasks, and even predict future outcomes based on what they learn from data. We already have AI in our everyday lives. We use Alexa and Siri and we have personalized recommendations on Amazon, Netflix, and Spotify, every single Google search. All of these things are enabled and made possible by artificial intelligence in the background. We use them for security checks when we use our credit cards. We use it on dating apps to find us the right, the right matches. And I believe artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize almost every facet of modern life. Stephen Hawkins said, success in creating artificial intelligence would be the biggest event in human history. And then he followed this up with, unfortunately, it might also be the last unless we learn how to avoid the risks. And we are seeing this, we now have at AI enabled autonomous weapons, drones that can automatically fly somewhere, kill someone potentially. So there are huge risks there. But AI has amazing advances. Uh, we, we're now seeing the Internet of Things, so more internet connected smart devices. We now have virtual reality, chatbots, facial recognition, robotics, autonomous and self driving cars. These are just a few examples. And AIs and machine learning algorithms are developing so fast. They can now see, they can read, they can write, they can listen, speak, even smell, and in many instances, better than humans. AI is going to transform human jobs. So AI enabled automation will have a particular significant impact and may, may lead to displacement of many jobs. But rather than subscribing to a vision of a dystopian future where all human jobs are given over to robots, I believe AI will make our working lives better. AI will enhance the work of humans and new jobs will arise to replace displaced jobs. Especially our uniquely human capabilities will become important. Things like creativity, empathy, critical thinking, and these will be valued in the future. So all our jobs will be, and all our lives will be transformed by artificial intelligence. My second technology trend is gene editing and genomics. So genomics is this interdisciplinary field of biology that focuses on understanding and, and the manipulation of DNA. And gene editing is a group of technologies that are enabling us to engineer or change our DNA and our, the, the genetic structure of our living organisms. So biology is advancing to the point where it is now viable to alter the DNA encoded within a cell. This will influence the characteristics or traits of its descendants. So in plants, for example, we can manipulate the number of leaves or the coloring and in humans we could change the height of people, the color of their eyes or even the likelihood of developing diseases. So this opens up a range of possibilities that are almost unlimited and very often beyond our wildest imagination. Uh, and this means that many of the characteristics of living organisms that is inherited can in theory be changed. So there are huge possibilities in healthcare where we can use it for, to correct 
the DNA mutations that lead to serious illnesses such as cancer or heart disease. We've already used DNA and genomics technology to develop the vaccine for COVID-19. But of course, when we talk about changing our traits and the traits we inherit, this also brings up a huge number of ethical and legal concerns and, and many what if questions when it comes to genetic mod modification and editing. So genome editing in humans is currently banned in many places, including much of Europe and the long-term results are not really understood. But my hope is that in the future we can completely change and engineer better humans, healthier humans, and, and this obviously will transform what it means to be human. Another key trend is human-computer interfaces. So human-computer interfaces create things like wearable devices that we already have today. We carry fitness trackers and smart watches that monitor us. Soon we'll have smart jewelry. We already have the developments of smart clothing, for example, or smart running shoes that measure our gait or performance. And advances like robotic prosthetics, for example, that enable us to replace limbs that we have lost and more robotic wearable technology. We're already using this in many industrial settings where uh, people that work on assembly lines, for example, wear exoskeletons that help them to operate. It's almost like you're, you're supported by a mechanical robotic um, framework behind you. And as this technology gets smaller and smarter, the sheer range of wearables is going to expand and new, smaller, smarter products will emerge to supersede the wearables we are familiar with today. For example, we already have smart glasses today, but they are likely to be replaced by smart contact lenses in the future. And after that, smart contact lenses might be replaced by smart eye implants that could, in theory, give us a super vision, night vision capabilities, augmented and virtual reality capabilities. So advances like this means that in theory, humans and machines will eventually merge to create truly augmented humans or transhumans or humans point, uh, 2.0, where the human body is souped up almost like a sports car to achieve enhanced physical and mental performance. And this would transform the world of medicine and eventually maybe even challenge our understanding of what it means to be human. At a societal level, we could be heading towards an even greater divide though between the rich and the poor. Imagine a society in which the rich are effectively superhumans that live longer, potentially forever, and everyone else is normal and disadvantaged. My fourth trend is extended reality. So extended reality, or XR for short, is technology that includes virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. So what we'll see, what we're going to see in the future is more immersive digital experiences. Things that we maybe can't even do in the real world. So in the future, you can just put your virtual reality goggles on and you can experience zero gravity. You can meet friends on Mars or you can play a digital piano on top of Mount Everest or you can if you want to fly a plane around the skyscrapers in Dubai or virtually trying out the latest fashion or you might want to go on a on date as your avatar or you can even change the, the real world around you with all of this so you could have augmented reality goggles or contact lenses or implants in the future. And if you don't like the color green, you can just have those glasses automatically change it to your favorite color. Or if you don't like the color on your neighbor's house, you can change that as well. So whenever you wear your glasses or your contact lenses, you look at it, it will change it for you. So we're talking about this metaverse at the moment. And this is 
part of this. We're creating this completely digital universe that will give us the opportunity to do almost anything and be anything we want to be in the digital space. And we are seeing glasses, contact lenses that will replace our phones in the future and maybe create something like a smart stream where you are truly inside of the internet. So instead of looking at it, you're inside it. And this, we have more of these immersive experiences and more of our life will be spent in the digital world, where it will sometimes be very difficult to almost distinguish between the digital and the real world. So they will merge together, which will in many ways challenge us and what it again means to be human. My last trend is 3D printing. So 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, means creating 3D objects from a digital file by building it layer by layer. And we already have 3D printers on the space station where you are able to print anything. So if they need a tool or a spare part, they can simply print it. So creating it layer by layer. Nowadays, we can create um, almost anything. So you can print plastic, composite material, metal, concrete. This means we can now build um, homes. We can um, create uh, completely personalized products that are mass produced in 3D printed factories. Um, in the future, we might even have 3D printers in all our homes that allow us to create anything we want, similarly to the space station. Um, but the technology is developing so fast that we can now even um, print implants or human tissue for transplant. We can print weapons and we can print food, for example. So there's a, a restaurant called Sushi Singularity in Tokyo and that is able to print your sushi for you that even has all the um, ingredients that you need based on your requirements. So and this again will change the way we create things. It will open up the opportunity for us to create anything in our houses and create any food specialized for us or anything else, whether we want to 3D print houses, cars, weapons or whatever we want. As a futurist, I look at all of these trends in a lot more detail. If you are interested in this, subscribe to my channel or check out my books, Tech Trends in Practice and Business Trends in Practice.